In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the for loop with an array length in JavaScript. And this is extremely useful because now you will learn how to loop or reiterate through a block of code consistently based on the length of an array. So this is more a dynamic way to do it. And if the array length is increasing, the loop would match along with that. So let's start with it. So if you want to learn first, if you want to learn about Chart.js, by the way, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy with the link is in the description box. So let's start and explore this JavaScript tutorial specifically for the array length. All right, so we have here our HTML document here and this is our HT, uh, the, the browser, the website or the web page. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a for loop and we're going to add up the array in there. So how do we do this? First of all, we're going to create an array. Let's say we have here an array and this array is a constant and this constant has a name uh, cost. So indicating the cost of specific item on a daily basis. So let's say we have uh, last week we have $20 in cost and after it's $40 and then $30 and then $50, $10 and $60. And finally for the last day of the week, so we have seven days of the week, we have seven values here. So if we have an array, let's start to create an array with a cost, we can use the cost.length. And with this, basically, we get the value or we can calculate the length based on how many elements. Every item here is an element. So there are seven elements and the index number starts with zero. As in an array, the first value is considered zero. However, we can call this element number one. But in the index, the i index, this is the zero because arrays are zero based calculating or zero base counting. So now we have that. So let's try and check this console.log and put in our cost.length and let's see what we find here. So if we save this right now and refresh, we have now seven as a value, which is correct because there are seven elements in our array. That is correct. So now we can create our for loop here. So basically we do a for loop and the for loop always has three statements. So the first statement would be indicating the starting value, i equals zero, semicolon. Then is the question, what are we going to add more here? And that is very specifically this here. We're going to have now the condition, and the condition would be how many times do we need to loop through it? And this is the condition basically. So we say i, if i is smaller, then we had the cost length is seven. So you can put that in here, semicolon. And then we can now start to say i plus plus means increment i with one value at a time. So if this is one, it will here, then we'll go through again the code. This is two. This is one plus one is two. And then here, then it's two. And then it says two plus one is three, etc., etc. So it keeps on looping or reiterating. And reiterate means to repeat a number of times. So basically, we reiterated seven times. All right. So put in here, and then in here we can say your console dot log, and I can say your i. And if you want to make it fancy, you could even put in the uh, array here value, but that's that's fine. It's not not a need for now. So let's save this and let's see what happens now. As you can see here, now it starts at zero all to six. That is correct. So now we, we iterate it seven times. But what I want to do now, and what, we, what you probably want to do is, we want to use this digit here. So we're going to take this out, remove this one here, replace it with this, save this, refresh. Oh, did it refresh properly? Yes. All right, I'll make sure to remove this. There you are. Now we reiterate it seven times starting at zero. And we can do here as well this or equal to then it will even keep on going however that's not what we want and the reason why we have only and we have seven elements right now we have eight digits in here so we can remove this do this refresh there we are 
and that is basically how you use a for loop with an array length in JavaScript. Because what happens if you increase this by one hundred, by a few more items? And then let's count that as well. We do the console console log, and we do the cost dot length. Let's see if we save this now. What happened? You can see now in total. In total, there are 14 elements in the array, starting at the zero counting. So there's from zero up to 13, which is 14 digits. That is correct. So this works exactly as we desire. And if you increase the array, no problem at all. And this is basically how you can use an for loop with array. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding to this video, Put them in the comment section below and I'll make sure I'll follow up with you 